These leggings are the closest thing. Jim Carrey is king. Okay. Wait, she back. You actually think it's 2003? I just feel like I'm in a slump. I just feel like I'm lazy. Look at me. Like, I'm just still in my pajamas. I'm gonna show you guys what I do to get into the mood, to work out, to hit my goals, to hit my fitness goals, you know? So, first of all, we gotta look presentable to go to the gym. We gotta pick, we picked a cute, cute gym fit. So, we're gonna change right now and we're gonna do some hair care. So, this is what we got right now Walmart sports bra, sheen legging. Honestly, these leggings are so freaking flattering. Like, you could be in any type of bad mood and you put these babies on. Oh, I swear to God. I swear to God. Now, should I wear this little top on top? Usually, let's see how it looks. Damn near busting my face on that. <laughs> oh, I forgot to shave. Oh. Okay, cute. Okay, you don't want to see the armpit situation right now because I'll be hoo hoo. But we're training arms today, you know, ladies? So if you know, you know. We're going to be right back. So I ain't got no razor, so I had to use one of those, you know, those face razors. Well, it's gonna have to do because I, I forgot to buy razors and it is what it is, all right? We're just gonna not lift our arms today. <laughs> Whatever. This is what my hair is looking like currently. Oh. Yeah. So when I sleep, I sleep like a madman and I toss and turn, my hair goes everywhere. So what I do is I like to have my hair wet in the summer usually because I like to have it curly. In the winter, it does change because obviously you can't go be going outside freezing cold weather with some wet hair. So I just take a spray bottle from Dollar Store and I use the Pantene Pro V Curly. Here you go, see it. Curl Perfection, this really curls my hair up. And I also have the like, kind of like gel version. And I use this on like colder days. So I'm gonna use both today and I'll show you how I do my hair. So I just fill this up with the conditioner, put some water, spray my hair up, and then we're gonna style it. Okay, so my hair is all wet. Ooh. Okay, yo, you guys, I spent literally like three hours scrolling through Instagram, scrolling through YouTube, just wasting my life away in bed, you know? Because I get a lot of anxiety attacks in the morning and I was talking to Brandon and he was telling me how he was unmotivated last night and I motivated him to work out. So he motivated me this morning to work out. Honestly, it's days like these. I really just don't want to work out. I just want to be lazy and lay in bed and just watch Netflix all day. But I, this is where discipline kicks in when motivation is out the window. Cute little updo, got the bang moment. And what I do is I take some of the gel. I can't squeeze it out. Okay, there. <laughs> and then I just like to style my bangs a bit. Twisty, twisty. Cute, right? Mm -hmm. I'm already feeling 10% better. Now, you can't be going to no gym smelling musty. So a must is, <laughs> get it, a must? <laughs> Deodorant. And I use the sheer powder. It makes you smell like baby powder. And if you guys watch my videos, there was one time I was sitting in front of the gym and this homeless guy came and he's like, damn, you sweating. You smell so good though. You smell like baby powder. How you sweating and you smell good. Gym fit complete. Hair is done. Oh, got a little product there. Yes. Yes. <laughs>
who's back? Oh, having all these things in the background. All right, it's Shay. She back with some protein pancakes today. These are dark chocolate. I was just sitting in bed craving. I was like, what do I crave? And it was chocolate. You see how these cars be loud as hell? I got closed window. Hold on a second. All right, so in this video, we are talking about fitness fatigue. What is fitness? fatigue we consume so much content including mine talking about being productive being healthy living your best life waking up at 6 a.m waking up at 7 a.m waking up at 3 45 a.m just to do your routine and not even before 8 a.m these people got their whole life planned out they're jogging they're juicing they have their healthy breakfast like for some of us that's just not realistic you know what i mean like today for example i woke up at eight sorry my alarm woke me up at eight i didn't get out of bed till 11. it is currently 12. Mm. When I see a lot of videos and it's like, oh my 6 a.m. morning routine, it's like, girl, I am tired, all right? I work full time. I don't have time to be getting up at 6 a.m. on my day off, okay? I'm trying to sleep. And every single morning, I have an anxiety attack. I'm at the point now in my life where I kind of just, you know, it's gonna happen. I just kind of distract myself, let it pass, and then I move on with my life. Oh, I want to show you a good chocolate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> my favorite. So fitness fatigue is when you're doing all the right things, you're eating healthy, you're staying on track, you're having a healthy, balanced lifestyle, you're going to the gym, you're working out, you're being productive, but there's just some times where you just get so damn tired every single day doing the exact same thing waking up being healthy working out eating healthy like it just gets tiring get fatigued now i posted a poll on my community tab and i asked you which video would you like to see what i eat in a day or a fitness fatigue fall reset video so i did both make you happy because you know i love you guys i just wanted to talk about this fatigue and i often usually feel it on tuesdays because monday is my day off tuesday is kind of like my meal prep day i usually stay in bed i'm just scrolling through instagram scrolling my life away and it's really hard for me to get up and be productive and then on top of that because I'm a content creator it's hard for me to show up on camera and be like oh look I'm having this productive life when I'm not now usually Tuesdays I just probably don't film I don't know what it is I just feel more productive when I do film but I was talking to Brandon this morning and he was so unmotivated yesterday and now I'm unmotivated and we were messaging back and forth and I'm like oh, I'm in bed I'm just lazy I don't want to get up I don't know what it is I just sit in bed and I just think about life I don't know I, I guess it would be anxiety because it just it makes me think about all the worst possible situations that has ever happened to me, all these bad negative things that happen, and it's like, why am I focused on this? I should be focusing on the positives. So in this video, I'm gonna be telling you how to get your, that's right, you, <laughs> your motivation back. <laughs> Not only did I just scroll through Instagram for another hour, but we're finally packing my gym bag so we can go to the gym and not be a lazy piece of shit. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you how to get your, that's right, you, <laughs> your motivation back. Step one, I got out of bed. Step two, I made my bed. Follow your routine just like you normally would. Don't feel like because today's a bad day, you're just going to throw everything away. Follow your routine. I got up, I made my bed, I watered my plants. I did my skincare, I picked out a cute gym fit, made me feel look good and everything. Now normally I would listen to music, but my, my, the way my camera set up, it don't let me record when music playing. Anyways, put on a fire playlist. I'm telling you that's gonna get you motivated. So something I've been doing is unfollowing anybody who does not make me feel good. If I'm looking at your post and I don't relate to you, I don't relate to your body image issues, I don't relate to what you're posting, I'm just gonna unfollow you. And that's just for my healing, that's for my peace. And it's like, I was following a lot of people who don't look like me. There's this, I don't even wanna say it, but like skinny white women. <laughs> and it's like, I will never be you. I will never look like you. I'm trying to follow some thick, curvy black melanin you know get some spicing some cultures up in there you know and it's like i just didn't realize how biased my feed was and it was all these people that i would look at and compare myself to and it would make me feel like shit about myself so now i'm trying to follow more body positive pages more fitness pages but also people who make you feel like you're a person okay fitness is not your entire personality there's other things in life you want to enjoy and be happy if you want to go out and eat a pizza if you want to go out to dinner with your friends you can do that now now, some of these people were making me feel so bad they would post things about like carbs and fat and all this stuff and like extra cardio and i'm like oh my god like this is not 
helping me. So literally me and my friend, she sends me black fitness models, black <laughs> fitness IG pages, like not even models, just normal girls. And they're just posting their fitness and you know, being happy and stuff like that. And that inspires me. So this morning I woke up, I was scrolling through IG, looking through all the fitness content. That kind of motivated me to work out, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, step one is look cute, feel cute, stick to your routine, have a nice high protein breakfast. We gonna have a fire playlist today and we gonna have a good workout, okay? Yeah, you were right to not let me in here because I'm gonna buy everything in here. <laughs> Look, rose petals, that senna leaves, tea, buds. So cool. Oh, oh no way. This the season to be spooky. These I got a muffin tray to try out a muffin recipe with the Kodiak protein pancakes. These to put them in if you got it haunted. I got this for like a spooky smoothie recipe, and then these mason jars for my smoothies. All this twenty three dollars. Dollar store is the plug. Obviously, no one can say because it isn't work. It isn't material, that's just an idea. It isn't spirit, that's also an idea. Reality is this. 